Hi, I'm Dr. Ken from Walter Reed Bethesda, working with the Wounded Warriors and the amputees there. I run the community outreach program for many of the activities at the hospital and for the family welfare community that is directly related to the full recovery of our wounded warriors. We have about 134 wounded warriors at the hospital, 36 being women, the remainder being men. We're starting now to get coalition forces, so the population is increasing. Uh, highlights of what I do is getting mobility or helping them develop more mobility in their lives. The soldiers who are amputees, seriously wounded spinal injuries, no longer can use their old vehicles, they're what they're accustomed to. Most recently, we ran across the full-size General Motors Silverado, which we call the Silverado Warrior. The Silverado Warrior is made by SVM from a platform given uh, to them to work with from General Motors. As you can see, the, the device that we have here is a chair that comes down. The uh, amputee and the wounded warrior can move his uh, chair into, onto it and be elevated into the truck. Previously, they had vans and sedans only. So this is a major milestone for General Motors to embrace and to make available for those that are wounded and amputees. As you can see by the lift, this is the first true uh, amputee and wounded warrior support vehicle designed from the uh, chassis up. This lift capability here diminishes the need for 6 to 12 feet side space that you find on some of the vans that are now being manufactured for the wounded warriors and the amputees. This is unique. And second thing is, we have to remember that many of the wounded came uh, from a community where they had pickups. Many of them tell me, yeah, they got a pickup at home, but they can't drive it any longer because they need the handicap specialty equipment on board. Well, that's what this vehicle is going to have uh, built into it, plus the lift. The seats are, are designed specifically for the wheelchair and for those that want to ride on the right-hand side that are spinal injuries or traumatic brain injuries. Even if it's a traumatic brain injury, the wounded warrior still can reflect on what happened prior to his service time and how he grew up or how he matured in this community. And this goes back. So this amplifies all the help that we're given that soldier, sailor, airman, or marine, or Coast Guard's person, because it is replicating his previous life. And the first thing I noticed is there's a heck of a lot of smiles coming off the asphalt when they first get in it and they drive around, either as a passenger or as the principal driver of the vehicle. SVM has done a great job. And I, look, I personally look forward to working with them to continue this vehicle being curbed, as they say, for the wounded warriors and the amputees.